Thank you for joining today for Microsoft AZ305 exam. This is the one exam, especially in Microsoft Azure, uh, which only focus on uh, designing the solutions. In the past, uh, we used to have the AZ303 exam and AZ304 exam, but these got uh, retired uh, by 31st march 2022 and they are coming up with only one exam which is ez305 so now uh, this exam mostly focuses on designing solution my way of teaching would be completely different compared with anybody and everybody has their own style of delivery in terms of teaching if you really like it this demo you can continue with further this course is going to cover with the exam code AZ305. This is the exam code which we are gonna discuss. And the level of teaching is completely advanced concepts. Trust me, I'm gonna take you not from the basic level. It's going to be very advanced concepts, meaning you need to have already some of the pre-requirements because we are talking about a designing. We are talking about a giving you solutions as an architect expert because you're gonna receive a logo on your resume or on your vault as your solution architect expert so this needs to be uh, more into the designing and architecting the azure cloud concepts so you need to have at least a basic uh, knowledge on a couple of things like azure active directory and computing technologies, for example, virtual machines, containers, serverless solutions, and also virtual networking, that's VNet, and load balancing technologies, and Azure storage technologies, that's unstructured and uh, structured data and databases, even general applications, uh, concepts like messaging and high availability functions, all of that kind of the you know, core concepts you need to have already knowledge. Then we could actually proceed further with this course if you're quite new to these uh, i'm pretty sure that you know you must have to first complete or gain these knowledge and then come back here for more as your solutions as an architect expert level of your skill set to improve so that's what uh, i'm going to focus so you need to you know ensure that you have this prerequisite meet and coming back to the syllabus um, this is again I'm not gonna stick to the just to the exam specific because when it comes to your architect you might have to think not just one solution you might have to consider a couple of things based on the scenarios and the case studies and I'm gonna uh, include many of the things but in general we are gonna focus on these syllabus but this is not just a limitation we're gonna learn a complete Azure solution expert level of training which would cover your azure identity governance and monitoring solutions even data storage solutions and business continuity or bcp solutions and also we are going to definitely cover the designing the infrastructure solutions these are the couple of high level syllabus but at the end of this course you could expect as the you should be able to design a governance solution for your Azure infrastructure or computing solution you could design or you could design your data storage solution as a Azure solution architect or you can even design the data integration solutions and application architect solutions and you can design the authentication authorization and identity solutions this is very important in terms of the identity management and we could be able to design such solutions for authorization and identity uh, solutions including the authentication and also we are going to monitor uh, the solutions and we're going to design that monitoring solutions and also designing a network solution and backup and disaster recovery solutions we would be uh, you know end of the uh, day you could easily learn these concepts including the migration solutions from either your one uh, cloud to azure cloud or maybe from your on-premises on uh, to your Azure Cloud or Azure Cloud to Azure Cloud from one subscription to another subscription. So these are the just the high level expected uh, learning concepts. So end of the course, you should be able to uh, able to design these things which are in the right side and in the left side, the syllabus is not just a limitation, but just to you know, give you a high level idea what we are going to learn. Just in case if you are looking for any further study resources, you could actually go for these six different 
uh, forums or different learning resources can be utilized to get more information starting with Azure LAN uh, this this is going to be more about the self pass learning experience and hands-on experience you're gonna get it if you go to the Microsoft LAN the URL is mentioned in the next slide this is a fast link if you just go to this and the second one would be the Azure Arctic Center which is a really great a guideline a resource for your architecting any kind of Azure solution. So what not all kind of your Azure architecture uh, or architects would be using these references as a templates or best practices can be find here. And also the definitely the documentation page and the forums and also learning community blog, which will help you out how to get the certification test and the exam study groups. And also you can keep on eye on Microsoft as your blog to get the what's happening within the Azure world and what's in a preview or maybe in a generally available or latest news and updates can be get it from these uh, lost link. So these are the URLs that maybe you, know, you can make a note uh, or maybe you can find out from the resource of this lecture. That being said, we will move to the next module called module one with the designing or design your governance and computing solutions. We'll catch you there. Thank you for watching this. We'll catch you later.